Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back with some NCAA 2004 going into year 10 here with Buffalo. So last time we had a great recruiting offseason, brought in some four-star prospects, and we also got a five-star at cornerback, so looking good for the future there. Looking to update our schedule here, and then we'll have to redshirt a few players, then we'll get into the simulation. Uh, unfortunately, Miami, in our conference, is ranked number one national champ favorites right now, so that's going to be tough to compete with them, but that's alright, it'll be a good challenge for the squad. Other than that, our opponents are looking decent right now. We do have a five-star strength of schedule, so I think I'll just leave it as is. And then let's move into the red shirts here. QB, no one red shirt. Uh, can't Corey will be taking over the starting duties most likely next year as a junior. We'll have to start re recruiting this offseason though to get his re replacement in line and trained up. Both of our seniors should be good to roll this season. Running back's fine. Wideouts. Mm, this junior is not great, but there's no point in really red shirting him, I think. Tight end. No. Tackles are all freshmen, basically, so let's just let them all play it out. That's fine. Left ends, wow. We got a lot of talent there, but mainly seniors. A couple juniors, so that's going to be a problem in a few years, but we'll worry about that when we get there. Defensive tackles are good. Outside linebackers. The one freshman, yeah, we can redshirt him. Middle linebackers, yep, let's redshirt him. And then cornerback, yeah, we have a ton of Allen here, old freshman, except for our top guy, he's a junior. Uh, let's see, hands to the bottom, no, we can only do the bottom one. Alright, that's fine. Free safety, no one red shirt. Strong safety, 88, very nice. And then kicker and punters, alright, awesome. So that's all that we're doing for red shirt, you don't have too many. I think what, we only have two or three, that's fine. And then let's take a look. Here at our report card, time to make the state in the polls. Show them the bowls are for real. I remember. Are we ranked right now going into the season? I think we were at like what 24? Yep, yeah, there we are there. Ranked 24th right now, just inside the top 25. Not bad, not bad at all. Preseason All-Americans. I don't think we had anyone on this list. I think we went through it last video. Yeah, no one from Buffalo here. That's fine. And then pits, yeah, that's all the same as last video. Alright, so I think we are good to get going here. Let's jump into the simulation. What's the schedule looking like? We only have a week one buy, and then we also have a week six buy, and then a week eleven buy. And then close out the season with another buy in week sixteen before hopefully playoffs and a bowl game. Alright, so let's sim through week one now. Let's see which one. No one's really playing here. It's just those, what, five games? Sweet. All right, here we go. Rolling here. It's Arizona first here. They're ranked 72nd in the nation. We're 24th. All right, let's see how it goes. Damn. 34 to 27 loss. All right. So Freeman did throw for 384 yards, three touchdowns. I guess there's the defense that let us down. Hmm. That's interesting. I thought our defense was going to be our strong suit this year. What do we have on defense here? Defense ends, yeah, they're all good. Tackles, mid-70s, not great. Outside linebackers, and mid-70s, okay, that's making sense. Middle linebackers, also in the 70s, other than a starter. Cornerback are all freshmen, too, so yeah, maybe the defense isn't as strong as I thought. Our secondary is good, though. Free safety, strong safeties, they're all high. All right, just gonna have to develop that middle core. What is our strategy on defense though right now? 52. Um, yeah, I think we can leave it there. Maybe we should go more run, run heavy. Let's try the more run heavy approach. And then offense. Yeah, we're currently going run heavy. Let's go more pass heavy. I think where is the roster? So our running back 81 and 80. Like they're okay. But then our wide receivers where we got the talent 84. Right, and then Stevenson's also pretty good at 78, and then our tight end had a great year last year, Tyrone uh, Danielson, he's at 79 now, so hopefully we can keep using him. The tackles aren't great either, so the run game's probably not going to be that, all that great. 
and we lost our starting center for two weeks here, so that's not great. Back up to 75, though. That's okay. Doesn't tell me what he's in. Oh, uh, no, doesn't tell me his injury on this page. Oh, well, it's only two weeks, not that long. All right, let's sim through and get into week three here. Yeah, and that game obviously dropped us out of the rankings or lost last week. This week we got Yukon, we're down to 38th. Not great, our pass defense is what really let us down last week. Rank 109th. Passing offense is top 6 though in the whole league, which is nice. Alright, so, oh, uh, sorry, well, Yukon, they're rushing, they're, they're more pass heavy. Not good for us. Well, we'll see, it's early. Yes, big win, big win, 55 to 14. That's more of a statement win that I was hoping for there. Uh, Sanchez, our middle linebacker, seven tackles, had a sack, two forced fumbles, and two fumble recoveries. That's screaming player of the week. Let's check the polls here. Who's up? Who's down? Miami. Ooh, they opened their season with a loss. Okay, that's good to see. Hopefully, when we play them late later in the year, they're not as hot as expected. Lots of wins across the board up here in UCLA. They lost when we dropped one spot. Interesting. Texas dropped big time. Everyone else is winning, winning. Miami is very solid. Lost. And Ohio State is on top right now. Oh, I guess they beat Miami, so yeah, that'll help their case. Players of the week, I doubt we had any last week. Easy, I know one. Our middle linebacker had a big game though this week. He should win the player of the week next week, I would think. Two fumble recoveries is massive. Alright, we only moved up one spot in the rankings to 37th overall. Our rushing defense is still good though. We're ranked 8th. Passing offense is top 5 in, in the nation still. Again, it's only two games in though. Utah ranked, what, 113, not a good pass defense, not a great rush defense, so we should beat them there. Let's take a look at the players of the week. Did Sanchez get it? Ooh, snubbed. The East, maybe? Yeah, there he is, Lenny Sanchez. All right, at least he got one player of the week. Would have been nice if he got the player of the week for the whole nation, but we'll take what we can get. Standings, where are we here? The East is currently sitting... Fifth. West Virginia's ranked 20th. Where's Miami? Okay, Miami did win last week. They are ranked 8th now, though. He will play San Jose. Yeah, smoked. Expected. Alright, let's get into the sim here. Utah State should be a, should be a win. And no, 36-29 loss. Okay, this team's dropping games now. Benton played well on defense for us. Two sacks for us, fumble, for, fumble recovery, but it just wasn't enough. And that drops us down to 51st in the rankings. That's, man, we started in 24th on the year. I was hoping to at least stay in the top 25 here. Our rush defense is still good. It's our passing defense that is not good. Ranked 101st. Pass offense ranked fourth. Maybe we should go more pass heavy. Really just focus on Aaron the ball out, scoring as much as we can. Here, let's go up to 55% pass, 45% run. Jump security is still an A plus, though. We should be fine. Buffalo fan is looking to wants you to stay in Buffalo. Well, yeah, in year two of a 12 year contract, I'm sure I'm going to be here for a while. Would be nice to get over 500 though on our career here. Currently sitting at 56 and 59 over the last 10 years. Lots of time left in this season though. Now who do we got this week? We have Nebraska. They are three and one, sitting at 29, just outside of the top 25. They got a good rushing offense, but we got good rushing defense. So hopefully that can stop them there. Uh, they're passing offense in fourth, so hopefully our pass defense doesn't get exposed this game. Let's go into a more run-heavy defense. I think these guys will want to run the ball more. Oh, oh. Oh, why is it changing? There we go. Defense. Yeah, let's go 
54% right uh yeah why not we'll, we'll stick it at 53 and see if that makes a difference if not may have to adjust that all right we squeak out with the win 26 20 uh buffalo cole five tackles and an interception very nice yeah they're their run game was still crazy. The guy had 40 carries on 150 yards and two touchdowns. Oh well, at least we stopped them. Let's sim through week five now. We're in week six, we have a bye week. It's good. Get healthy again. Let's check the polls and I'll check to see who's injured on the team. Uh, Ohio State still sitting on top. Colorado State following up behind them in second and USC sitting in third right now. Miami's up to fifth. So they've recovered from that week one loss. They've been rolling now. They're three and one. And anyone else of interest? Not really. I think it's West, yeah, West Virginia's in the Big East with us. No one else in the Big East though, I think, right? O other than Miami. Just them. Okay, so the only two teams in our conference are top five right now. We're sitting fifth in the conference still. Sitting at 500, two and two. Haven't played any conference games yet though, so that will hopefully propel us up a little bit. Points against are looking ugly at 104. Need to get that number down. Players of the week, anybody, anybody? No one from Buffalo. East. Nothing since week three when Lenny secured that defensive player of the week. Okay, anyone injured now? Uh, where are we? Injury report. Our free safety's out with a high angle swing for two weeks, and then a defensive tackle with some broken ribs out for two weeks as well. Alright, so we're going to be missing them next week, but then they should be back. I guess they're going to be out this week, but obviously we're on bye, so that's fine. Next week we're playing Virginia Tech. Ooh, that's a big game. It's a big East matchup. They're ranked 28. That's a must win. Then we'll be getting them back. Okay, at least we get them back for when we play West Virginia. He's ranked 17th. So that should help. Alright, let's sim through week 6 here and get into some big games coming up for us. Alright, here we go. Big East matchup with Virginia Tech. They are... Okay, they've jumped up to 27 now. I think, what, they were 29th last week or something. We're at 35. Our pass defense is getting better. We're at 85th now. They have a good defense, though. 18 rushing defense, 30th in pass. Their passing offense is terrible, 110. They can just rush the ball. They're top 12 team in rushing. Our passing offense is still top 6, though, on the year, so that's sweet. Yeah, I think our lineups are set. Let's, let's sim it. Ooh, lost by three. That was a close one. 27-24. Freeman. Freeman's been balling out for us. 350 yards, three touchdowns. Defense just can't hold for some reason. Uh, may, I, I gotta got change this strategy or this approach of some sort somehow. Defense, let's go more. Let's go 50-50. Let's get a little more aggressive with it too. Why not? See if being aggressive helps at all. Alright, West Virginia 5-1, ranked 15. This is a prime game for us to come in and um, upset them here. Our rush defense is getting a little worse. Our pass defense has been improving over the last couple of weeks, so as, there is, as our passing offense has as well. Rush offense, it's really not there. Not going to rely on the run game anymore, I think. Uh, what are they looking like? They got a decent rushing game. Pass offense 92. They're more of a defensive team it looks like here. So, Let's see if our offense can overcome that. And we do. Let's go. 24-17 win over the 15th ranked West Virginia. And that was a conference team. So that's going to help us in our conference standings. Does conference standings update after this or do we have to wait? Oh yeah, it's updated. We're 1-1 one one now. Okay, because that, that brings West Virginia down to 1-1. Miami is also 1-1 within the conference, so now it's just Virginia Tech that needs to lose the game. Then we'll, we'll all be tied at the top of the conference, so if we can steal a couple more conference games down the road here, 
we'll be looking okay, because I think, what, one of our goals is to win the conference, right? Let's check that. Report card. Yes, win a conference title. Okay. I think that's going to be our main focus. Try to win the Big East, and then we'll look at trying to go for a national championship eventually here. 3-3 three three now, thanks to that last win over West Virginia. Job security is an A+. Plus. I'd like to see it. Average attendance just under 30,000 still. If we can get over that 30,000 mark, that would be sweet. Uh, let's check the top 25 again here. Ooh, Ohio's still on top. Colorado's still up there. And USC still the, still the same top three. Miami. Ooh, are they dropping? Oh, they lost again. Be West Virginia. Damn, they're going to 13. Yeah, I think Miami's out of the running now for national championship. We can target them to beat them for the conference here. West Virginia, yep, yeah, just lost to us. That's beautiful. And then. Oh, Big East Virginia Tech. Yes, they are now in the rankings. They did beat us last week, but it was a close game. Let's sim through week eight, and who do we got week nine? We got Pittsburgh, another Big East matchup. All right, so Pittsburgh's two and three on the year. We're sitting at 51st in the rankings. We're up to 28. We're almost back in the top 25. Our total defense has been improving. We're into the 60s now, so maybe playing more aggressive did help. So I'll keep those settings as is. Uh, the Panthers' offense, nothing too scary. And their passing defense isn't great, 108. So hopefully we can expose them here. Or hopefully we can score 60 on them. That would be sweet. Uh, top 25. Is Miami still up here? Did I go by them? West Virginia dropped big time due to the loss to us. Miami, oh, they're up to 9. Oh, they beat Florida State last week. Okay. That helps them. But top three are still the same, Ohio, Colorado, and USC. Olsen at 6-0. Players of the week. Didn't get anyone for all of the NCAA. Any big East awards? No, nothing. I figured our QB would be doing something here, because every game he's throwing for like 350 yards, it seems like. Conference standings, how are we sitting now? Up to third. Okay, we just need Syracuse to lose the game. Now, Virginia Tech lost the game. That must have been last week. Yes, they lost to Syracuse, who's now in first in the conference. Okay. Everyone's one on one. Everyone's bunched up here. And now, we are playing Pittsburgh this week, so if we can beat them, that'll move us to 2 and 1. I don't know if that'll be able to leapfrog Syracuse or not, though. We'll see. Well, for, first, we gotta get, get the win. There it is, 34-26 win. Was hoping for a few more points there, but we'll take it. Our running back, 12 carries for only 38 yards. However, scored two touchdowns. Plus, he had five catches for 75 yards. There's the passing game coming up huge. All right, let's sim through and see if we're on top of the Big East yet. Oh, there we go. We're now ranked 23rd. And we were playing Temple this week, who's ranked 47th. And another Big East matchup, another conference game. Okay. Another big game here. Our passing defense has been coming way up. We're up to 57th now. Our rushing defense is down to 77th. Our pass offense still top three, though. That's great. Rushing offense, it was in the 80s. At least it's in the 90s now, but we're still ranked 107th. Not great. Eli, I would want the rush offense to be at least a top 60 unit, so maybe that's something we can target in this offseason. Bowl rankings. Okay, are we anywhere? I doubt it will be up here now. No, they only take the top 15 ranked teams here. Okay. Colorado's currently first. Ohio State not getting a good polling. Oh, they must have lost. Did they lose last week? They lost to Iowa. Okay, so they're dropping in the standings now. Colorado's on top. Iowa moved way up with that win over Ohio, and USC still staying strong in third. 
Uh, anyone at Big East. So Miami's still sitting at 9. They beat, oh, they barely beat Temple last week. But we're playing Temple this week. That might be a problem. Big East, us. And then Virginia is out of the ring. So Temple. Big East, Syracuse is 2-0. and Virginia Tech, 2-1. Miami, 2-1. And we're 2-1. West Virginia. Temple's 0-2 against the conference, but they didn't lose that badly to Miami, so they might have a decent team here. We have the same amount of points against 174 each, but we have a few more points scored. Hopefully that'll come out and we can pull the win off of them. Player of the Weeks, anyone? Anyone? No. Oh, I saw the blue if I was going to be Buffalo. There he is. Oh, our running back got player of the week. I thought it was going to be our QB for a second. Yeah, I guess he got a lot, a lot of yardage thanks to that. Those five catches and three touchdowns scored. Let's take a look at our injury report. We have a full safety out for the season with a broken ankle. And he's a junior too, so going to a senior season. Hopefully he can at least improve a little bit this offseason because he'll be starting for us next year. We will be rec recruiting some free safety, so that's for sure. Going on here in the stat book, stat rankings. Offense is looking good. Fourth, second ranked, first, eighth, second for like a lot of top tens and everything. At, uh, yeah, our entire offense is a top ten offense, it seems like. Within the conference, sorry. NCAA rank, not as high, but still doing well. Defense, interceptions were up there. Yeah, because our secondary is pretty strong. Red zone scoring, though. Uh, once teams get into the red zone against us, we're giving up a lot of points. Season stats passing. Oh, Jones and Freeman have been going back to four. Oh, sorry. I mean, Jones has only had attempted 16 passes. Uh, Freeman has over 2,000 yards thrown for 17 teams and 9 interceptions. Pretty good. Pretty good. Rushing. Yeah, the rushing is not you know, special. Barnett has 328. That's it. Six touchdowns. Receiving leaders, we've got Bright leading the way with 612 yards. Our tight end, Tyrone, is up to 423. And then defensive stats, interceptions, who's leading the lead? Oh, Cole with four. Nice. Uh, do they track touchdowns here? Defensive touchdowns? Nothing. That sucks. All right, here we go against Temple. Yeah, let's sim it and see what happens. I knew they were going to be a problem. They barely lost to Miami. 30-23 loss. Lost by a touchdown. Freeman didn't have a great game. 15 for 24, only 220 yards. Ah, well. Uh, then we're going to buy this week. Okay. Uh, bye week. Let's just quickly check out the rankings and everything. Top 25 Colorado, Iowa, and USC still all the same up top. Ohio State's there. And yeah, we definitely fell off with that loss. Players of the week. Nothing. Nothing for Buffalo there. Awards semi finalists. Okay, let's see if we have anyone in the running for an award this year. Who's the Buffalo yet? Yeah, no one in the top seven for any of the awards right now, but that can change. Lots of time left. Conference, yeah, we lost to Temple, who's in our conference, so that doesn't help. Drops us to two and two. We're 500 on the year at four and four. That's right, considering we were out of a conference, what, three years ago? There were definitely going to hold our own here. We won't get kicked out of this one for a while, I think, so. Can't be too upset with that. All 
Alright, week 12, we got Troy State. They're sitting at 3-6, ranked 102. This is a team we should beat. However, their total defense is top 13 in, in the league. That's kind of worrisome. But hopefully they've just been playing weaker teams. Let's sit and see how we go here. Alright, big win, 43-36. to 36. We gave up a lot of points, though. I'm wondering if the aggressive approach on defense is not working now. Maybe we go a little more conservative here. Let's have last of our starters out there. Uh, the offense had a 55% pass, so I think it's been working for us. We're scoring points, so let's keep that there. People are hopping on the bandwagon. All right, we love to hear it. We are 60 and 61 now, career here at Buffalo. One game under 500. Let's try and get that next week. Get get the 500 finally. Week 13, Boston College sitting at three and seven. National rank of 78 with a bad rush defense, 105. Decent passing defense though. But yeah, our pass offense is still a top five offense here, so let's keep that rolling. Bold rankings, yeah, we're probably not up here either. Nowhere to be found in there, top 25, probably not. Yeah, not there either. Heisman watch, we don't have anyone we're running for that. Ward finalist, yeah, we're not going to have anyone, I think. Yeah, no Buffalo talent there. Bold projections, though. I think we should get a bold game. There we are. Currently, currently slated to play in the Continental Tire Bowl against NC State. We all know that's going to change a lot, though, between now and then, so won't worry too much about it. And Justin Freeman, our quarterback, wins Offensive Player of the Week for the Big East. Threw for 385 yards last week, two touchdowns. Yeah, that passing passing offensive scheme is definitely helping him here. Let's see if he can ball out here against Boston. And he does, 34-14. to 14. Okay, defense came to play that game. Maybe a more conservative approach is better on defense for this for this team. Freeman, 300 yards again, three touchdowns. That's what we like to see. Week 14, yes, this is the Miami week. I thought it was coming up soon. So Miami ranked eighth in the nation, overall in the A. Offense is only a B plus, defense A minus. Total offense is top six. And their rush, their, so their rush is 18. Passing is 24. Our passing is ranked second now. Their pass defense is ranked third in the nation, though, so that that might be a problem. They might shut us down. But if we just get a little aggressive with it, maybe, maybe. I mean, we're already pretty aggressive with the pass. I don't think I want to turn that up anymore. Let's leave that as is. 61-61. This would be a great game to finally get over 500. Bowl rings. Where Miami's eight. Okay, so we could really hurt them here. Play, play a little spoiler. Never a bad thing. I mean, yeah, they're up to eight now. Like they're eight and two. I don't know why they're so high. And then how is the conference looking here? All right, we're sitting second in the conference, right behind Miami. So yeah, if we can win this game against Miami, drop them the four and two against the conference, we'll be up the four and two, and then yeah, we'll give them their third loss. So we might have a chance here to take the conference from them with this one game. They are a six six star school. That would be huge for us as a four star. Players of the week, anybody? No, this guy is from Rice. That looks like the Buffalo Blue, though. Sorry, Big East there. Miami, ooh. They won Offensive and Defensive Player of the Week last week. Well, looks like Buffalo's got a big challenge here. Let's see how this one goes. Oh, man. Lost by three to them, 37-34. We put up a 
fight, though. Freeman threw for 360 yards, two touchdowns, more than their QB. He, he only threw for 279. Wow. We were up the whole game, too. Miami just came back in the fourths. Scored 17 on us then. Oh, well. That's good. That, uh, that's good experience for, for the squad. All right, week 15, last game of the season. We're playing Syracuse, who's also in the Big East with us. Uh, they're ranked 28th. We're 34, pretty evenly matched. They're 7 and 5. We're 6 and 5 on the year. Our pass offense, top two, top two. That is very impressive that it stayed this good for this long throughout the year. Hawkeyes can just spot in the national championship game. Damn, Iowa is in. Against who? I'm assuming Colorado State. Where's Miami? Oh, Miami went up with their win, up, win over us. Top 25 polls. Yeah, Ohio State's up to 5. Miami's up to 6. Anyone from the Big East? Big East West Virginia's back in the rankings, even though they lost last week. They were 17th down to 24. Bowl projections, we should be getting a bowl game still, right? Yeah, still at the tire bowl. Still supposed to be facing NC State. Let's see if that changes with this last last week though. Yeah, we're currently staying fourth in the conference. Three and three against the conference. Hopefully we can win this last one. Close it out with the bang. Alright, Syracuse, let's see what you got. 31-24, lost Syracuse to finish the year at 500, 6-6 six six again. Freeman, though, 334 yards again. Yeah, I don't know, I think we really need to upgrade our defense, it seems like, giving up a lot of points here. Alright, week 16, let's just sim through this. Going to the conference championships for the MAC, the Big 12, and the SEC. I guess our Big East doesn't get a title game, eh? It's just whoever finishes top of it wins it. Yeah, Big East Miami took took home the crown again. Syracuse finished ranked 24th. Virginia Tech's at 25, and West Virginia's 22. So conference has improved. Last year we only had one team ranked at the end of the season. This year we have four. And we're right in the middle. So that's 500, 6 and 6 for the season. And everyone below us losing records. Definitely room for improvement here though. Players of the week. West Virginia sweeping up the awards there. In this conference championship week now. The Heisman going to Rick Jeffrey of Ohio State. Rush for just under 1,600 yards this year. Yeah, he was basically the clear cut favorite, it seems like. Alright, we've been invited to play in the Motor City Bowl against UCF. Oh, we played UCF last year, I'm pretty sure. They're ranked 25th too, okay, sweet. They went 10 and 3 this year. 10 and 3 ranked 25. We went 6 and 6, but I think we're in a tougher conference. Alright, let's see what UCF rankings are like. Points per game. We're, we're 16th in the nation for points per game. We were scoring a lot. Or their defense that let us down this year, I think. Our offense was great. And then UCF, they got a good rush defense. Total, total defense is pretty good. Passing offense, pretty good. I'm just wondering who they played. I don't think they would have played very strong opponents. Well, let's see. Let's sim it and see if we can win another bowl game here. Go three for three with bowls. Let's go. Another win. Motor City Bowl champs. Yes, let's save that. So that's three straight bowl wins for Buffalo now, which I'm pretty sure helps our prestige. Jumps the team up to 7 and 6. Uh, let's see our report card now. Yeah, bowl record 2 and 0. Not including this one, so now we're 3 and 0 in bowl games. And then, oh, 
Buffalo. We end end the season at 62 and 63 career at Buffalo. So next year we should get over 500. I hope. Depends how the recruiting process goes because I think we're losing a lot of good seniors this year. All right, let's sim through the rest of the bowl games here. Syracuse won their game. National Championship, Iowa takes it 34-16 against Colorado State. Uh, being offered a position at Ole Miss. Key players, two seniors, 90s. Yeah, we don't have any 90s on our team yet. And I got a 12-year contract here. We're not going anywhere. We're staying right here in Buffalo. All right, so that's the end of year 10 now, guys. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, leave a like on the video, and I'll see you in the next one.